Day three, ShakaCon, Charleston, West Virginia. I'm here with Santana, professional cosplayer. We're going to get the inside scoop on what you can do to be more stunning in your cosplay roles. So, uh, first question, how long have you been cosplaying? I've been cosplaying for a few years now, and I got wrapped up into it pretty quickly. The community's so great, I love meeting new people, and Halloween's always been a favorite holiday of mine, so... You know, this is an even bigger reason to just keep dressing up, and I'm really excited about being at conventions. So, so did this start as Halloween? You started dressing up in Halloween. You're like, you know what? I'm going to take this to the next level. Like, how does somebody get into the cosplay scene? Well, for me, it started when a friend uh, kind of peer pressured me into going with him to a convention. Of course, I already knew about conventions, and I was tempted to go to one. I just didn't have the encouragement I needed to actually go. And once I did, I was sucked into it. I loved it ever since. Because, like I said, up until then, you know, Halloween was my favorite holiday. I mean, it still is. But now, I can dress up all the time. Because I, I travel all over and do conventions, and it's always a fun time. How many conventions do you typically do in, like, a year? Oh my goodness, it varies, uh, but I've been up to like 10 a year. I'm, I visit all over. I've even uh, gone to other countries. What countries have you gone and done cosplay? Uh, Japan, and next year I'm actually going to Australia. What were the conventions in Japan like? Um, well, Japan, they're even more popular. One convention can host uh, 400,000 people. You can imagine that. Comic Con is the largest here, which I do believe hosts over a hundred thousand. Let's say like I showed up in a costume. Would I technically be a cosplayer or what do what are the qualifications to go to that next level? You mean you're not cosplaying now as an interviewer? I guess we're all I guess we're all playing roles in life. We can get really serious. We all have masks that we wear, metaphorically speaking. You remember that from the mask? Mask quotes. <laughs> I think it's I think it's applicable. We're talking about cosplaying and wearing different things. I, I, I like the Jason, there's a female Jason. Yes. Um, I'm, the wig I had on uh, during the weekend gave me such a killer headache, uh, pun intended, uh, <laughs> that I uh, had to take it off today and I'm using my actual long hair. But this uh, outfit actually is based off of a very popular uh, collector's item in Japan, a uh, Jason statue there. And uh, that's where I based my cosplay from. I think. It, they're great. They also have a matching like a Freddy to go with it. <laughs> do you get a lot of your where do you get a lot of your ideas? I guess that's a good question. Like, do you is it inspired just from movies or where do you pull ideas from? I get inspired by things that I enjoy. I think no one should cosplay for other people. Don't cosplay to try to get famous or anything like that. This is for fun. That's what you need to keep in mind. Um, so if I'm watching a TV show or playing a video game, watching a movie, and I really like the character. The character, I was going to say canary, canary or something, <laughs> the character, and I connect with them in some way, I just think they're really awesome, and I want to uh, show my appreciation for them, so I try and cosplay as them, and it's so much fun being a character, Sounds but I can't awesome. right now, otherwise you both would be dead. Wow, she takes it pretty seriously, folks. When you encounter a cosplayer, you never know what you're going to encounter. And that leads me to my, I think my most important question is, what happens behind the scenes in the cosplay world? Like, how, what are the parties like in the cosplay world? The parties glitter everywhere. <laughs> no. so it's just like a rave, just like a rave with costumes. Oh, there are raves. I do like to rave. They are exhausting, but they're fun. Uh, yeah, but it's like big costume parties. You gotta love those. So it's like living, a, it's getting to party in costume 24 seven is basically the cosplay way. Exactly. Yay, cosplay. <laughs> what about, uh, what are some of the stresses that you'd find in, in, in doing the, the convention scene? Like, you just talked about how, like, your wig was giving you problems. Like, do you have a lot of, is it really stressful when you have a really elaborate costume? Yeah, I mean, it can be, definitely. I think uh, the biggest and most elaborate costume I've done so far is uh, from Sword Art Online. I did a Mecha Asuna. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sword Art Online. Are you? I don't know what you just said. You just said, did you just speak Japanese? No, mecha, like a mecha. mecha like, a, like a robot? Yeah, something like a robot. But um, it's like a wedding dress version of Asuna. Uh, it's the character's name. What is Asuna? Asuna? What is this from? Sword Art Online. Okay. And the character's Asuna. And um, this particular costume I did of her had giant like metallic wings that set off to the side and a uh, huge ball gown dress. There was a lot to go into that and I, it was very difficult because the wings were really heavy. So <laughs> um, that was probably my uh, most 
um, difficult cosplay to move around in because I kept hitting people with my wings. And um, uh, wigs always give me a headache. That's definitely a con. I'm sorry, but I have a lot of hair. Like if you see, my hair keeps wow. going. Uh, so putting that on a wig is very difficult. I can imagine that would be very stressful. Now I have two more questions for you, and then I'll let you I'll let you get back to what you're doing. But uh, my first question is like, what are your like top five favorite costumes? Like favorite characters to portray? Hmm, that's such a always a hard question. Um, I really like Maka Auburn from Soul Eater. She who? Wait, wait. I'm not as well versed in this world. I may, some of our viewers might not. So say that again. The Soul Eater is a anime show about uh, demons and gods, and uh, Maka Auburn uh, has like she wields a scythe and she destroys all the bad souls that were possessed by demons, and it's it's pretty cool. That's that's your number one. That's top five. Top five. I don't know if I can put these in order because they all have really good things about them, but they're drastically different. Okay. Another thing I did was Sonic the Hedgehog, my own original version of Sonic the Hedgehog as a human. Slash female, which actually you can see the print on there on my table. Um, Sonic's fun because I love to run around conventions. Another pun intended. <laughs> I'm so punny. Did you ever, you ever like rev up when you were Sonic? All the time. How he revs up. All the time. Or right, how's the sound go? We need a sound clip of that. <laughs> he's like he's like Thumper. Remember Thumper from Bambi? He's like kind of like a nuclear Thumper. You ate Bambi yesterday? Oh, Thumper, you ate rabbit yesterday. Have some rabbit stew? Yeah, it was delicious. How about this? Let's branch out. What's your favorite, top five favorite recipes? Might turn this into a cooking show. Well, I really enjoy human barbecue. Human barbecue. Oh, yes. Uh, right. Tastes like sweet venison. It does. Um, the thighs are especially delicious. They got a lot yes. of meat on those, you know. You gotta get a good, especially when human barbecue, you gotta get a really good uh, tenderloin in there, the in the inner hamstring or groin area, really succulent meat, like alligator meat, really, if you've ever had alligator. But oh, here's a question I must ask for my, uh, my keeper slash boss, uh, Stephen Hensley, was wanting me to ask, uh, d is it true, there's, there's sort of a myth, no, no, wait, wait, there's sort of a myth that when you cosplay at conventions, you don't actually ever buy anything. Is that true? Cos do cosplayers just go to cons and not purchase anything or is that how's that work out? I like to buy things. I can only speak for myself but I've been known to buy things. What about other cosplayers? Is it typical for them to sort of just show up, do their thing and, and peace out? I mean it really depends on the person I guess and if they see something they really like. I know a lot of cosplayers and they tend to buy things that they see around conventions that they really really like. Right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all I can say about that, I think. Well, do you just like how I said, peace out? Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a cool rapper, a hip-hop, the hip-hop genre? Do you, like, do you like my slang? I just said, do cosplayers show up and then peace out? Do you like, do you, is that cool? It's very sexy. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. From a very sexy lady, she just called me sexy. We need to get a clip of that. We need evidence <laughs> to prove to other women that I am, in fact, attractive to prove, disprove a lot of theories that Stephen Hensley's slur slurring out there. It's a rough morning, folks. I can't even speak properly. What's going on? Any any other questions, Scotty? I don't know, you're probably gonna cut this. We're good? Well, I appreciate it. We're here with San Santana. I'm gonna do like a closer, I guess. <laughs> Keep this in. Here speaking with Santana, the Shaka Con. Anything you'd like to promote before I go? Guys, please like my page at facebook.com forward slash Santana Cosplay. Look it up. And what kind of cost, what kind of uh, stuff are you selling here? Or like, I see a lot of photographs. What types of costumes are these? Um, there are all different kinds of prints from Assassin's Creed to my Jason, uh, to Sonic the Hedgehog, Naruto. And I also have a couple photos of me as a mermaid and kissing a dolphin. Sounds good. Make sure you get the Rosetta Stone cosplayer language. It's a mix of Japanese, English hybrid. Uh, you're not the first cosplayer that, of course, knows a lot of manga and anime and I am not well versed in that realm so yes, sir, I can teach you that's great a private lesson right now oh my lord yeah what's the 101 of like some of the things that you should probably know going into the cosplay anime scene well you'll have to buy my book for that look for it on Amazon <laughs> ah!